Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to revisit some things that I have abandoned in the past and couldn't finish. So I found some cool combinations of things that I thought worked together but I just couldn't finish the idea for whatever reason. Couldn't find the right background or something. So let me give a little tour of some of the things that I pulled out that I couldn't finish. And we'll just start with this first one, which is this mirror. So I think that the original had a, like a woman's reflection in it and I replaced it with this um, funny looking fish. And I thought this was a funny idea, but again, I did. there's no like context. I couldn't figure out a background to put it in or whatever. So I don't know, it didn't get finished. The second one is this Tabasco bottle, which I loved. And then this red thing was like a canopy overarching like a, a fancy restaurant dining table. And I liked that these kind of fit in together like that. So it was like the Tabasco bottles like shooting off to space, um, the reds match. And so I thought this was kind of a fun idea. But again, I couldn't find the right background or I don't know what. That didn't quite go anywhere. <laughs> so I just put it aside. This next one is I found this guy holding two shovels. I think it was like a shovel ad. I don't, I don't really remember, but I thought it was funny and I pulled it out. And then I found this pile of dirt, which he actually surprisingly fits kind of perfectly inside of. And so there were things I thought about like putting a, a planet underneath. So it was like he was digging through the earth or something. Or maybe we could put him where, you know, there isn't dirt like underwater or something. I don't know. But I couldn't figure that out. So again, I just put them off to the side. The next one is I have these seashells and these little ladies. And I was thinking that the seashells could be their house and we could create like a little village of uh, seashell houses where these little ladies all live together. And I just thought the proportions of them were nice. That looks like they maybe could live inside. And it's like a if we could find a background with like really small features like grass or something really small, they could look like they were really, really tiny. I thought that would be fun, but again, couldn't find the right, couldn't find the right thing to go with it. So the last one is I found this picture of bocce players and I thought that maybe we could replace the bocce balls with something else. So my first thought was like planets. We could put them like playing bocce in space. Or something like that and then uh you know i have some kind of bigger planets but if we could find smaller ones you could replace the balls with them and i don't know i just kind of liked their pose i liked their outfits i thought this was just a cool image but i didn't even cut it out so this one didn't go very far <laughs> um so there's one two three four five ideas here that i had that i abandoned and you know i think i'm not sure what we're going to be able to get done today but i would like to maybe complete at least one of these but I have no idea what we're gonna do because I kinda have to find something to go with one of these. So let's start diving into some books and try to come up with some ideas to flush these out a little bit more.
All right, so let's review the things that I found because I found some fun stuff and I'm kind of excited. So you saw me cut out the skin parts of the bocce players because I wanted to put a galaxy in the background and I have a few options. This one, I ended up liking the ones that were had like chunkier stars. It made it feel like it was more like a galaxy rather than they were like freckles or something. I don't know, I kind of liked that. And so this one is really nice. I like the purple. It's not long enough, so I'll have to like pull some other sky and put it down there, but I think that's fine. So there's that one. There's this one, which I also really like, but again, it's not long enough, so I'll have to borrow some from the image, but that one I really like too. Okay, so here's one with kind of smaller stars. I like this, but I feel like it doesn't quite read as well. So we're gonna put that one off to the side. Um, there's also this one, which has smaller stars, but it's also red because I really do think that color is what helps it stand out. So I like this one too, it's pretty close. So I have to decide between those, but we can do that later. Now, the other thing that I found for this, so what I'm thinking in terms of composition is having, so the galaxy in the background, and then I'm gonna keep the ladies on this background and have that be the full page. But I also found uh, some small planets on this page and then also these two pages of planets. And I'm thinking of maybe putting some of the planets in their hands or maybe like cut them and slide in planets to the side. I kind of just want it to feel a little bit more spacey. Uh, and so I think those are two things that we can do. So we'll play around with that in a bit, but those are just all the parts that I found for this one. All right, let's talk about the hot sauce bottle now. So I know I had originally paired it with this red thing uh, and I liked that idea, but I don't think we're gonna use it because I found this guy who is making the funniest face and he's holding a bottle. So I'm thinking if we kind of remove all of that and replace the bottle in his hand with this bottle, that would be like him reacting to how hot the sauce is. But then I also found a erupting volcano and I'm thinking we can pair the sort of explosion and the smoke with this um, so it's like coming off the top of the bottle and I think that this is really funny it might just be once we get everything together and put it on a white piece of paper we might realize that we want a background or something but I'm not quite sure yet but I think all the elements are here and I like this and I think it's super fun so I actually think that we should just continue working on this one because it's out and we'll leave the Galaxy bocce players till after. Uh, so let's get all these stuff cut out and start pairing it together and we will see how it's coming together. I'm very excited. It works so well. This, I love him like holding it in his arms. That's so funny. Oh my God. I think the, like the proportions of everything I think works really well. So I think I'm gonna leave this on white. I mean, I think we'll crop the bottom and the sides a little bit to neaten it up. But I think that I like it on white. Let me know in the comments if you would add a background, if that's something I should do. Um, but I kind of like I mean, there is obviously like the composition, there's a lot of negative space over here. A lot of this is negative space, but I kind of think that the piece still has really interesting movement, obviously because of like the explosion that's coming out of the bottle. It really does have interesting movement. But once I crop everything, I think maybe, maybe we'll decide on something else, but oops, dropping things. Okay, here it is, final, all put together with trimmed up lines. Again, I like the it on white. I like how simple and clean it is. I think it's just really fun. And there's still so much movement because of the explosion and the composition just like, so you start here and you move up. I, I just think that this works really well and I'm super excited. So let's put it off to the side and move to the bocce players.
Okay, so I picked out a galaxy. I got it all set up here. I have two extra pieces in the legs. And now I think that we need to move on to adding some planets. So I think some of these we'll add in the background. We might add one in the hand. I don't know, I have to play with it. I have some bigger planets over here that might work a little bit better. I'm not exactly sure. I think I gotta play around a little bit and see what works and what doesn't work. I don't wanna go overboard. I don't wanna like throw planets everywhere because I think that that will sort of just like clutter the message. I just wanna add enough to really hammer home the space message. So it's gonna be, I gotta figure it out. Okay, so I have this idea while I was thinking about like how to incorporate the planets. I'm thinking of only incorporating them down here on the ground. So they're like, because she's holding one and I might try to add one other one, but it's like they're up next to be thrown. So they're in like the pile that they'll pick from. Um, so I think that that's the way to bring the planets in. And so I'm excited about that. Okay, so I think we're finished with this one too. It turned out great. Like the planets are the perfect size. I'm happy with the placements of all of them. They, it just, it looks really cool. I like them. I like the sort of like story behind it that they're, you know, playing botched with the planets. So here are the two collages we made today. Man, it's funny, they're really different. Like so different. I kind of <laughs> can't believe how different they are. Usually when I make cl multiple collages in one video, they kind of like look similar. But these are like totally different and I'm so glad we got to use, you know, I, I had pulled out this image, this bocce playing image a few weeks ago because just I just because I loved it and I'm so glad that we got to make this today. Oh man, I'm really happy with this. This is just, this to, the hot sauce one is super fun. I, these are, these are really cool and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, watching these pieces come together and I will see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye.